Hello my friends, uh, in our last section, we used a boilerplate to start our application. So in this section, uh, we are going to make this upload product page. So to make this page, first uh, we will create an empty upload page. We just make this empty page. After that, we will uh, create upload page route. Without route, we cannot come inside this page. So after that, we will make the create upload page header tab. Header tab is this one, just this one. So by clicking this one, we can come inside in here. So if we are in here, if we click it, so we can come in here. After that, so we will make all the form except for the drop zone. So drop zone is this part. So we are going to make this part in our next video. So without this one, we are going to make this title and description this part. After that, so we will make an unchange function for all the inputs. So without the unchange function, we cannot type anything in here. The reason why we can type like this is that we have the unchange function. So first we will make this create an empty upload page. So first we go to our text editor. So in here, so first I want to turn on our application by typing npm run dev. So now we are in the startup point. So first we need to make this empty upload page. So we come in here and then inside the source folder and then components folder and inside the build folders, we need to make the folder named upload product page. And inside this folder we just made, we will also make the file name upload product page and JavaScript. So, so we are going to make the functional component in here. So to do that, we can type out FCE so it will make this the functional component automatically so to use like this so you we need to download this one es7 react redux graphql this extension if you download this one you can just do it like this so easily so after that so we need to make the route for this upload page so we go to app.js in here so we will import the page upload product page from views upload product page and and we just uh, copy and paste this one and copy and paste it and not anyone can go inside this upload page only loading user can go inside this page so we need to change this one into true so and this pass will be the product and upload so now we finish making our route for this uh, upload product page and then we need to make this header tab just this one so we go to right menu here inside in here just uh, we just uh, copy this one and paste it it will be the upload and upload and this one needs to be the h rep here this one is product upload because the we just use the pass in here product upload so we need to use this one for the pass to come inside this page so we just save it and we come back to our application here so you see here we can see this upload header tab we just made. Now if we go inside in here, so I'm going to just type this one in here. We can see this upload product page. So now what we need to do now is to make all the form except for the drop zone. So we will make this form title, description, and price, and this select an option, and then submit button. We need to make them. So come back to our text editor in here so now we come back to our application so now we can see this one Not like this now we need to make this title
So now we made all the template and then I'm going to just uh, save and go back to our application. So here, so <laughs> styling is really ugly right now, but anyway, we made it. So first what we need to do is to make the unchange function for all the inputs or like this one and this one, because even though we want to type something, nothing changed. So uh, first for this title input, first we need to, I can just give this one on title change. So first on title change, so we need to get the event when clicking, uh, when typing something in here. So we need uh, a value state in here, so we get the user state. So the name will be just a uh, title value and then initial state will be just string. It comes from the lit react and we put this one in here and we change whenever we type something inside this input event current target and value. Value will be just this one save it and then we go back to our application so if we try to type something we can type it right now because we have this uh, unchanged function in here on title change so it, this time it's for the description so we make the on description change and we also need to make in here const uh, we need to get the state first use state description value so we put this one in here like this one and then this in your state will be the um, string as well and set description value in here and we get this event so event and current target and value again so if we come back in here so type something for the description it works now it's for the price so scroll down and in here so on price change on price change in here const uh, we need to make one more state for the price you just state mm, price value but this one is the different from the other ones because it will be start from the zero because the price needs to be the number. So price number goes here and then we need to use set price value for this one. So now we can just type some number in here, two or three like this. And the other one is if you come in here so there is the continents counts like Africa or Europe or Asia. So we need to have this value for the select and options. So in here, I'm going to just uh, type the continents counts, continents, so key, one, and value, and Africa. So we need to type everything in here, but if I type all of them, it's too long time, so I'm just going to copy and paste it here inside is select like this continent and map and item. Oh, we copy this one and paste it. Key will be just the uh, item key. Item key is the this one one two three four, and key value will be item the key again and then in here we're just going to type item and then value will be this name of the continent Africa or Europe or Asia oh okay I need to change this one into this one so I'm going to just uh, save it and then begin here so you can see this one like this but we still need to make a unchanged function for this select 
as we did for this input. So on change and on continent select change and const so even in here we need a uh, state so the name will be continent value so first initial state for this continent value is First, it will be just Africa, but Africa's the value is just key one. This is one because the if we scroll down, this value is item key, so not this one. So this one is just a key number one. So put this one in here, and then we just like this and bring the event in here, event and current target and value again. So now we save it. So now we made all the form and then unchange function. So lastly, I just want to change this styling into this one. So I'm going to use the entity design for this styling to make it faster. So bring the entity design like this. First. So we put this title in here for the button we replace just normal button with this one right now and then form to replace the normal form with the entity design form for the styling this one is just the first styling not for the function at all and for the text area here and lastly for the input input and input yeah okay i save it and come back to our application so now it looks way better right so thank you for watching this video and in our next section we will make this uh, drop tune part for the images so see you in our next video thank you